Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'll be doing a review on the Moterm Versa Planner in the personal size. I've had this planner for a few days now, so I'll be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions so far, as well as comparing it to the regular Moterm planner. My very first impression when I got this planner is it's huge. I was really surprised at how big it was considering the insert size. This is a personal size insert and when you lay it on top of the Versa, you'll see just how much extra planner you get with the Versa. And to me, that's just really funny to see. This planner is just very big for the insert that it's supposed to hold. But a great advantage to this planner is it has a lot of features. The main feature of the Versa is that it has this inner binder that contains your inserts as well as a whole lot of card slots and you also get this little flap in here with a gusseted pocket. The outer binder is large enough to fit a B6 notebook just like so. You can easily treat this as a folio for a B6 notebook. And you still have plenty of room left. And actually this outer binder is roomy enough to be able to hold the B6 notebook as well as the inner binder. And it is very comfortable. The clasp isn't being strained at all. There isn't any tension on the spine. This Versa is great if you're the type to take everything with you. If you want to keep your planner and your journal in one place. If you want to keep your wallet, your journaling supplies, everything you can ever think of, it's going to fit into this Versa. And as you can see, I did add some cards in here just to give you an idea of what you can add. Here in this flap, I added some journaling supplies. This pocket has enough room for a stencil some stickers, another ruler, and a thin roll of washi tape. You can add way more into this pocket. But all of that fits comfortably into this little pocket here. And then I have some washi cards. You also get this little zipper pocket here on the side. If you have any sensitive information that you might want to keep hidden, you can always stash it in here. You get four extra card slots on the flap. On the inner binder, you also get this little deco pocket, four more card slots. On the flyleaf, you get a pen loop, even more card slots, three on this side. And then on the right side of the outer binder, you get a picture slot and five card slots. So you have all the card slots that you could ever want on this Versa. So again, if you're the type to just take your entire life with you when you're on the go, the personal Versa is the one for you because you can just stash everything you can think of on this planner, chuck this in your bag or just grab it off the table and go. Another great feature about this Versa is you basically get two planners in one because since you have the inner binder holding the ring inserts and you can treat this as a folio, you can just slide your notebook in here and then treat this inner binder as a separate little folio for your ringed inserts. So it's like getting a two for one deal when you get the Versa, which is another really cool way to use this, I think. And another great thing about the personal Versa is that it actually fits Franklin Covey compact inserts. So right now I am holding personal size inserts onto the inner binder. And here it is with the Franklin Covey compact inserts. I should mention that this is with the 25 millimeter rings. And there is some overhang. You can see the monthly tabs peeking through. But overall, I don't think that's bad at all. It's like having a notebook where you have the little monthly stickers on the side. I don't know, I like it. I don't think that's a bad fit at all. And if you put it inside the outer binder, it is definitely a comfortable fit. Here's how it looks from the bottom. And you can still fit a little B6 notebook to go with your Franklin Covey inserts. 
it is a lot more stuff just because I have a lot of inserts in here. This is my social media planner, which I've mentioned in a previous video. But as you can see, everything still fits into this Versa. So again, this is a very versatile planner to use. Get it? Versa? Versatile? Huh? So now here it is with the regular Moterm personal planner. When you lay the personal planner on top of the Versa, you'll see that there's a pretty big chunk of extra width here, as well as a pretty big amount of extra height. Again, just to compare, here is the personal size insert. That's what it looks like on top of the regular personal planner. And here it is on top of the Versa. So that is the extra space that you can expect when you use personal size inserts. Now the Moterm regular personal planner does have a lot of functionality to it. It has secretarial pockets. It also has a zipper pocket here, some deco pockets. It's got all these card slots as well as extra card slots on the flyleaf. Although the flyleaf on the personal planner doesn't have a pen loop, but it does have a pen loop here on the side. So the regular planner still has plenty of functionality. So if you're just looking for a planner to hold only your inserts, you can't go wrong with the regular personal planner still. The Versa is more for putting all of your supplies into one unit, your journal, your planner, cards, your wallet, your money, documents, whatever it is, the Versa should be able to hold it. But if you're the type who likes to separate those things, you like to have a separate wallet, separate folder for your documents, a separate card for your supplies, you'll do just fine with the regular personal planner. One thing I'd like to add is these are both from the newest batch of the personal planner and the Versa planner. And as you can see, the letters are very different. The personal planner is a lot more pebbled and it's less shiny and the Versa leather feels a lot puffier. The pebbling is a lot smaller and it's flatter too. And there is a slight color difference. The Versa looks a lot dustier than the personal planner. It's coming off as top on my camera, it looks like. I thought that was just an interesting detail. I do like how the Versa feels. It feels really nice and soft. I also have the pocket Versa coming in, so whenever that arrives, I'll be making a video about it as well. Otherwise, if you're looking for a personal size planner that can hold your entire life, definitely get the Moterm Versa. You can't go wrong with this planner. So that's it for my thoughts on the Moterm Versa planner. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Moterm playlist for more Moterm related videos. Do consider subscribing if you enjoy videos about journals, planners, and pens. This is Spellbound Notes, and I will see you next time. Bye!